Hello! Ah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Come on in. Hi. Hola! <laughs> tour now we're going to take you through um, our warehousing or distribution logistics and then we'll go through manufacturing processing quality control and then I'll take you through the, the main office okay sounds awesome As of right now we're a hundred percent vertically integrated company we make every single product we make our own bottles we make our own lids now we are in charge of making our own labels um, and manufacturing all of those, as well as uh, outsourcing, or I should say outsourcing, resourcing all of our raw materials. Uh, we only purchase US-based, and uh, we do all of our quality control certifications in-house prior to blending or anything. The, this is our main logistics area where we do pull pack all the shipments. We're doing some of our web orders today. Alina's been with us for how many years? Almost 15, 16 years. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> and so uh, we have a very uh, high rate of inclusion in terms of the people who stay with our company. Uh, Alina started with me when we were in 1,500 square feet. And now we're in 50,000 square feet. So um, we do, yeah, this is all of our pull and pack area. We have our shipping logistics uh, office right over there. Um, everything is palletized, coated, uh, not only specific to the product, but every single pallet has a separate lot number as well as a visual inspection by a quality control officer every single day. So it's not the one blend is done, every single pallet is done in quality control. If you can see right in here, this is uh, lot 404 and that's lot 502. So we actually separate the lots per pallet. So we actually do what's called a uh, uh, micro lot classification. So we can separate who this goes to from who this pallet goes to in our computer system. Hey, Alina, do you have the scan gun? Yes. Oh, our whole warehouse right now operates our, off uh, Wi-Fi connection. So what we do is to ensure the quality of our products, our operators, not only for raw materials, but everything going down to a scoop, to a box, to a lid, to a bottle, to a label is RFID scanned through here through our Wi-Fi system and it goes into our system to ensure that every time we make a product we make it exactly the same way every single time and that if there should be a problem with our product this system will also help us identify where uh, a missed component went to, what customer it went to or what store, location or even distribution channel. Oh my god. That's yeah awesome. and it's all all carried under here. Here we go. Thank you. Here, come on, come on back. So, as you walk through the warehouse, you'll see the green tags everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's showing that everything's been certified. Everything's been certified. From flavoring, even our boxes are certified. Our containers are certified up there that they've been cleaned. They'll get green stickers on them. Uh, raw materials, bottles, pallets, everything. If something isn't, isn't uh, coated properly or we detect something, we have a quarantine area. And it'll get red coated or it'll be locked up. If you see a yellow sticker, that means it's for evaluation. A red sticker on top is to be destroyed. And then if anything is a consumable, like someone could take it and actually eat it, and we don't know if it got returned to us or if it went missing or there's not a lock code on it, we'll actually lock it up in the cage for destruction. So we make sure that if anything happens, our customer safety is first. That's awesome. Awesome stuff. Yes. And then this is our quarantine area. Before, even though everything has been checked up to a point, We'll still move finished good products that we're selling to our, our distributor or to our retailers. We'll move it to a quarantine area, and then the quarantine area, it'll be reinspected again. Not for quality of product, but for accuracy of the order. Mm. Yes. Awesome. Now what we're doing is we're walking into our manufacturing facility. The manufacturing facility is uh, separate from our actual warehouse facility. We use different air control handlers, 
uh, special HEP HEPA filters. You'll notice once we go in, uh, this is actually an airlock. We're actually cleaning the airlock right now. The airlock separates the air from the warehouse to the production area. It's two different air qualities. You'll notice as soon as we go in that the actual feeling and humidity and smell even of the air is different. Okay, so which means we have about five seconds to get on the other side of the door because it wants to control the airflow. So once I open it, we have to walk in here. Here we go. Right now, um, we do everything in house. We do our encapsulation, we do our powder conditioning, we do our weigh room and blending. And if you notice in the back, uh, this, will, this will tell our operators who are coming into the room what we're working on. But if you look in the back of the room, you'll see it. a clock with a date, a day. It also lists the humidity as well as the temperature. That is being recorded by a video camera in the corner to ensure that when we're making products, we make it under the same condition every single time. The same temperature, the same humidity. Uh, uh, and if there is a problem, we can go back in the videotape to the specific day of the week, the specific month, and a specific time, and figure out if there was a humidity problem in the room, if there was a temperature problem in the room, or something of that matter. Yeah. So in every single room, if you go into the rooms, you'll see every single room has a different temperature. Come on in. So this is a problem with our body. As you notice, it is a total uh, hand-free environment. We don't actually touch the product that's coming out of the machine. So what we do is these, these bags weigh from anywhere between 500 to 1,000 pounds. We voice it into the system, and the system takes over. What she'll do is she'll do the quality control on it, making sure to the gram that we have exactly the same amount. Even though the machine does it, we want to make sure that if it's even one gram or two grams below spec, that, that our customers are getting the proper amount. And then we'll go and seal, seal the container, not once, but twice. First time we seal it, and the second one ensures that the lid tightness is perfect. They'll do another visual inspection on the product, making sure the product's perfect. people in this room, it's purely for quality control and inspection. Otherwise, the machine will make everything for us. She doesn't like the way it looks, she'll put it back in line and, and have it redone. So we have a double and triple or triple quality control system here. To make sure every bottle is exactly the same. So that bottle that pops out is going to be the same one at the end of the day. And right now we run anywhere between 15 to 20,000 bottles a day. We can run here. By the way, there's no hand controls on anything, so when you go to all of our rooms are infrared and motion sensor. So it can tell a person from a room from just air current. So when we walk into a room, everything turns on, and this is basically the machine where we make all of our samples. So all of our powder samples come through this room. Uh, like I said, we still have our no-touch uh, filling system involved in here, where once we load the product into the machine, the operator is only here for the purpose of quality control inspection. No one touches the product. The machine puts it in there and it's hermetically sealed. See, when you looking at me, see me come up from nothing. Like I said, you don't have to touch anything in the room. Lights come on, air conditioning turns on. Every single room in our production facility has its own HVAC system. The reason for that is we never want, we never want um, the air in this room to mix with the air in the other room because there's two different products running. So this is our high-speed blender. We run anywhere between two to 3,000 pounds of product in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes. Yes. And this is uh, also a no-touch system. It runs a, um, a loading, uh, a barrel loading, um, a 
attachment on the system where an operator doesn't have to open product or do anything like that. It's actually vacuumed into the blender. So again, we don't want people touching product. We want the machines to touch it and pack it and put it away and we want our people to be there for the quality control. That way it's always fresh. Um, uh, manufacturing Stimucal. So uh, right, right now they're doing a line trial. Can't, can't go in there. So what a line trial is, they want to, every time we do a blend for any of our pills and capsules, we want to make sure that our blend and our specs from the uh, vendors that we purchase our raw materials from is flowing the same way that it did a month ago. So we'll do a line trial, we'll have mechanics in there and inspectors to make sure that every single pill is filling at the exact same milligram quantity that it did a month ago. Once the, the line trial gets approved, we'll go into full production. Wow. Yep. And then once any product in this production facility finishes, it'll come out here into this area in the quality assurance area for the green sticker, which means it has to be removed from the box, it has to be visually inspected, it's again put into our system, a, uh, a sample or a retained sample is brought into the lab, which will go there next, and then from the uh, retained sample, we'll get an approval and he'll come out and mark it with the green sticker and then he'll put it in the for sale to the public. Our lab also does the HPLC testing and the FTIR testing, which not only quantifies the, the blended ingredient, but qualifies the actual individual ingredient. And we do that from supplier to supplier to supplier. So we may have up to three, four suppliers for one ingredient. They all have to fall within the same spec and parameter. So that way we ensure that the raw ingredients that we use, no matter for what supplier, is exactly the same at 100%. Wow. Yes. And before any ingredient goes into a product that, that you would buy and consume, it comes in here first. Right, Leanna? Quality Control 2. Quality Control 1 uh, works with the GMPs and SOPs for the company. It ensures that everything we do is done by, uh, uh, with good manufacturing practices in mind, and then we establish what's an SOP, which is the standard operating procedure to ensure that good manufacturing practice always occurs. So both of these departments have video mon monitors that controls every single room and every aspect of the company. So if they see something that they don't like or they think it's out of spec or it's not following good manufacturing protocols, then they can step in and either either review it live or go back in the videotape review it later. And but we can make an immediate correction to that uh, to that uh, workload in the office to make sure it's always on point. So he sees it and they see it. Multiple That's eyes awesome. on it. Now yeah. this is our general area. Um, this is our sales pit area. Our marketing, graphics, social media department. We have our customer service and our other operations. That's Jared. Our customer service and order processing and logistics. And this is Zuleika and Jennifer. They handle our bookkeeping and accounting. And I'll take you to the most exciting offices in the whole building. In my office where I have all, all the, uh, the kind of crazy science stuff goes on in here, all the new product developments. I as well monitor the quality control in the whole building. And um, all of our systems, correct, so all of our systems are all, are all um, tied in together. So if I see something that I don't like, I can zoom in on that aspect and um, even on here, like let's say I don't, I don't like what he's blending or I don't like something that's going on, I can zoom in specifically on what he's doing. 500 three years in a row now. So uh, first year we were on, we were only second to Quest in terms of fastest growing nutritional supplement company. Yeah, we were the second fastest growing company in the state of Florida uh, for three years running. And so this is everything that we've been in from Yahoo Finance, the Miami Herald, the NASDAQ Globe Wire, uh, Inc. 500, Sun Sentinel. Um, we've been in numerous publications. Even we just got an award from Glassdoor. We have one of the highest ratings of any manufacturing company in the state of Florida for uh, employee happiness and uh, 
uh, satisfaction on the job. That's awesome. Yeah, I try. It's amazing, but all that things count. It matters. Mm -hmm. You know, I, what, what I always say, it's like, products don't make products, people make products. So if you make people happy, they make better products. I always have to say that I don't need business car, I need a happy customer. That's it. Not to me living my dreams I done been to the bottom I done suffered a lot I deserve to be real